Hi, I'm Dave Ulrich. I'm one of the three authors on the book Leadership Code. I have the chance to talk to you today a little bit about being a talent manager. Imagine successful leadership. We know that successful leadership is leading others and helping others get their work done well. When we've looked at managing talent, what we've discovered is talent has many dimensions. One of the most critical dimensions of managing talent is making sure that they're committed or engaged to the work that they do. It's not just that they're satisfied, it's that they're engaged, they're giving their discretionary energy, they're doing their best. In the last decade, a lot of groups have looked at engagement. And we see a lot of engagement surveys from different organizations and different groups. We know that engagement is connected to productivity, engagement is connected to retention. The question we ask as we looked at all of these companies that had done engagement or commitment studies is what are the practices managers can follow to make engagement happen? As we synthesize that work, we discovered seven key practices. And it stands for voice, V-O-I-I-C-C-E. These are the seven things a leader can do to build commitment or engagement from their employees. The V is vision. Have I created a vision that people are part of? They feel proud to be a part of the organization. The O of voice is opportunity. Am I giving my employees opportunities to learn, to grow, to get feedback, and to develop their gifts and their talents? The first I is incentive. Am I building an incentive system that pays people financially for the work that they do? The second I is impact. Do people do work that they sense has an impact on things they care about? The first C is community. Do we have leaders who help the, uh, do you as a leader help others build a community? And do your employees work with each other in effective teams? The second C is communication. Do employees know what's going on and why things are happening? And the E is entrepreneurship or flexibility. Do we build flexibility into the work processes that we have? Our job as leaders to manage talent is to give them a voice, a vision, opportunity, incentive, impact, community, communication, and entrepreneurship. When we can do those things, our employees who produce the most will feel engaged and they will feel committed and will build an employee value proposition that allows good performers to get great responses from the company.